All right, so in this video, I just want to quickly share my process for taking book notes uh, with Rome and Zerocasten to see if you have any ideas or if this helps you in any way. So uh, I start by writing down the name of the book. So creating a page for it. In this case, I forgot the full title. It's this caffeine, how caffeine created the modern world. Um, then I have a quick template for book. Author is Michael Pollan. And then I would fill this meta tags. Uh, but then I'm not going to do that now. Uh, then I usually take notes on paper and later I transcribe them, which allows me to have a second pass on my initial notes and start uh, progressively summarizing. And that's a concept that, that Thiago Forte from Building a Second Brain introduces. Uh, basically, over time, you're going to engage with your notes several uh, at several different moments, and then you're going to see what is most important there, and you can start formatting and abstracting and simplifying, and then eventually creating even a permanent notes, which is the remixing of content. Um, so it has five levels, and it's somewhat similar to what we do with the Zero Custom as uh, suggestion, suggested by the book club or by Bo. Um, so right now I will start uh, transcribing these. And then uh, as I'm taking these notes, I remember things in more details. Then I wanted to take them uh, while I was writing because I didn't want to stop the reading to take very long uh, notes. Uh, so in this case, for example, the importance of the coffee house for civic debate, investment, culture, and science. I remember some other things about that, so I could write that here. Uh, so for example, I remember that uh, the anecdote, anecdote of uh, Isaac Newton dissecting a dolphin <laughs> in a coffee house. And this starts uh, helping me remember all of uh, the information that is being shared in the book later on, um, so that this is gonna increase my level of uh, retainment, as well as uh, the definition of these notes when I come across them. Another quick uh, idea is that uh, usually there will be some relationships between notes most of those relationships you're gonna catch through indentation. So in this case, I'm talking about uh, the control of our biology. So it makes sense to talk about how coffee postpones exhaustion and has a terrible effect on our sleep below it. But sometimes they're gonna be like in different branches. Uh, so in this case, uh, I'm getting uh, here, this one that uh, talks about how tea was cheaper in England because that's what the East Indies company used to sell. Um, and that's very not related to what I'm going to talk about the unethical foundation of coffee. So in order to trace back what I'm going to write here later on for me to start uh, connecting the dots, um, I can send a link to that specific box. So in this case, in order to keep tea prices low, and then I'm pressing Ctrl K to create a link. And there you go. So now I have my notes. And as you can see, there are some boating and even a highlight here uh, that's showing, pointing me my future self where this book is most interesting. And this is mainly just, you know, just a, a take on uh, a general view of it. Now, what I would do is I would uh, open my captured page on the side and start taking notes, uh, capturing the most interesting parts for me. Uh, so in this case, let's open in sidebar. I'm pressing shift enter. And then here I'm going to use the template that Bo provided us to create a new fleeting note. Uh, and then started starting uh, referencing. So I'm going to reference the blocks in the notes themselves, because I think that's what going to help me most in the future. Uh, if I had links, precise links to locations in Kindle or stuff like that, 
then maybe I could do that. I didn't even in my notes, maybe wrongly, I didn't uh, put any timestamps of when in the auto book each of these pas uh, passages were. Uh, so it's really hard for me to trace back. Thankfully, in this case, it's a very short book. Uh, and I'm not 100% happy about audiobooks yet, uh, especially when you want to take notes. Uh, so yeah, this is open for debate and open for suggestions. But I want to cover the women were heavily excluded uh, section. I think this is very, very important. Um, but in this case, let's do this. So I copied the, the reference, I put it here. I'm going to click and replace with text and alias. So this way I can see where this comes from. So uh, women were heavily excluded from the, well, the consumption. Oh, yeah, that's it. Actually, it has enough context. So I'm going to undo what I did there. OK, uh, and then I guess what I could do now is I could Mm. Yeah, I guess this one I'm going to cover in another one. Actually, no, that's it. Okay, so I'm uh, pressing Control and Shift to drag all of the children of this block here. So now I have a better, uh, a bit more of context. And what I would do now is, of course, uh, taking my fleeting notes from this. So as you can see, um, I kind of took just uh, notes from what the the book was saying, of course, through my filter, and I didn't take notes of everything. Um, and now here I I processed them a little more. I wrote a little more what I understood from the reading. But now is the time I, as like a third pass is when I'm actually gonna uh, dive deep into my thoughts of each of these uh, considerations. So I'm going to pause here and take a fleeting note. Uh, but actually, that's the idea. Uh, you already know what is a fleeting note. Uh, basically, just thoughts and then going deep into them. I would now just do like a quick first pass. Um, so for example, women were heavily excluded from the consumption of coffee. Um, so one example is that this makes me think of women being excluded from the revolution of computers or yeah, from the rise of computers mostly like uh, they were at the very start uh, but then large scale um, computers and internet women had a more uh, side effect on that or um, yeah they, they didn't have a central position so that's what this makes me think about and uh, this is enough context for me. I don't have to like go really deep right now. Uh, and then I would take some more like three, four uh, ideas that this relates to. Then later I'm going to dive really deep into each of these ideas when I'm done. So what I'm doing is I'm going each of these captured like one or two notes per day. I'm bringing them over to my current day and then going deep to finally understand that uh, then writing the literature notes, oh, well, writing the literature notes and then finishing with the permanent notes, which is a process you've already seen. So I hope this makes sense and let me know if you have any.